Hello my dear friends this is your friend Dr Suresh Shindvi here and today I am going to discuss a very interesting case I know dental trauma is something which is learned with your experience because the more and more dental trauma cases you treat you end up getting better in it the issue with the treating dental trauma is there is uh, a lot of type of dental traumas and uh, treating them becomes really confusing because you have to rely on protocols and your experience and many times the patients are very apprehensive and dentists are generally first responders because that is what they see uh, so they might come to you directly saying that okay you know my tooth is broken but it is important as a dentist that you don't only look at the teeth because a trauma is something can have a lot of tissues involved structures involved it in head the end face so whenever you have such kind of patients as like the uh, the image which i am showing you today you have to ask the type of trauma when they visit your dental clinic you have to ask when did the trauma happen because the time is something which is very important and uh, you have to ask them whether they are immunized you know tetanus injection is something which uh, uh, sometimes patients has to be given because when they have a trauma that is that immunization becomes very important now how do you treat this case which i am showing you today the majority of the practitioners when they see a deep fracture elis fracture even if it is elis class 2 they see that there is a pulp which is near you may want to do a root canal treatment that can be right or wrong depending on you know what is your experience but we always go with the evidence and we have to follow the international dental traumatology guidelines which are given in order to treat such type of cases so ask the history of the patient and immunization and you should also make sure what is the age of the patient now this is important why is the age important for example this is a central incisor now before doing a clinical examination if patient is somewhere at 8 years you can suspect that this tooth treating in a conventional root canal way will be difficult because the upper central erupts at 7 years and uh, closes the apex by 9 to 10 years in any situation if you initiate the root canal treatment without taking a radiograph you will know that you will end up having a blunderbuss canal which is really difficult to treat so you don't want to remove the vitality of the tooth without taking this in consideration even the pulp is exposed you should know this is a traumatic pulpal exposure and not a carious exposure so it has a better prognosis while doing a pulpotomy or a direct pulp capping but then the time also matters that how how much time is you know over after the pulpal exposure so all these are important questions whenever you want to even do a clinical examination because by having all this information you can decide your treatment better now i know it would be difficult for me to explain you everything in this video but i will try to give you as much information as possible with respect to this case without making it you know a very detailed video if you have any questions you can always put in the comment section and i will definitely answer it and i saw that okay there is a fracture which is involving this much area it's quite big and uh, it is involving the dentin also now i have to make sure that there is uh, whether there is any pulpal exposure so uh luckily there was no pulpal exposure here but i could see that pinkish pulp the color of it that means the dentin was very thin now the important thing here is okay you know there is no pulpal exposure there is dentin so don't directly jump by telling the patient okay it's absolutely all right you know you don't have to worry uh, we'll do a composite restore restoration that becomes wrong because any one of these teeth without having any fracture in the enamel 
can have a root fracture, can have a vertical root fracture. So to evaluate that, you have to have a radiograph. Okay, without radiograph, you are not going to decide this treatment plan. This is very important because you may, after taking a radiograph, you may see a line here with a horizontal root fracture. It can be here, it can be anywhere, or it can be a vertical, right? It can be vertical also. Okay, that is also possible. Sometimes, you know, they are so small and uh, patients do not have a lot of complaint. They might just say that I feel some sensitivity. So do not decide anything just based on clinical examination. So what do we see in the radiograph? Now, if, if you had only seen the radiograph, I am sure you will feel that the pulp is exposed. So by just looking the radiograph, you are not going to decide any treatment plan. You have to again correlate the tooth. You may you can slightly probe and see whether there is any pulp on which is exposed, but you should not be putting a lot of pressure because you can convert a non-exposed pulp chamber into an exposed pulp chamber by putting pressure on the thin dentin which is there. And once the pulp gets exposed, treating that is very challenging, right? Because we do not want to introduce any organism in that. Now, the good thing here, the patient age was around 18 years. So, there is no blunderbuss canal. And uh, my treatment plan is very simple. First, I also checked whether there is any uh, trauma, any fracture signs in any mandible, maxilla. All these are very important. And uh, I asked about the immunization. Then I told him that right now, the treatment plan would be we can do a composite restoration. Now many people would disagree with it and they might tell me that you know why why do composite restoration when there is such a big trauma because the tooth will become non-vital eventually. Now that is not right because as per the guidelines given by international dental traumatology and there is a lot of literature which is supporting it that all tooth may not become non-vital after trauma. So, there is another aspect here. If you have seen my old video about pulp capping, uh, I would I have also explained about the vitality test. So, you do an electric pulp test or a cold test in this case, the pulp would give a non-vital result. That means there won't be any response from this tooth. And people would assume that this is a non-vital. That is absolutely wrong because the literature says that till three months, the pulp can show you negative result in conventional uh, diagnosed pulp vitality test. So, and why is that? Because the pulp is in a state of shock. And that's why you don't want to decide root canal treatment just on pulpal vitality status. So you have to also tell the patient that I am doing the composite restoration, but I am also telling you that you have to come to a follow-up. There is proper follow-up protocol which is given in that guideline, which is available on the website of International Dental Traumatology site. You should read it. So while uh, doing a follow-up, after three months, if I'm not getting even any response with this tool, I have to initiate root canal treatment. Now, sometimes patient won't come back to you. So you have to also tell the patient that, you know, if the tooth becomes non-vital, it will be very slow because in this, generally the pulp necrosis will happen and you patient may not experience any pain. But what he will see is that the pulp will start, the tooth will start becoming slightly dark and that should make him realize that the tooth is becoming non-vital. And it will be very surprising that majority of such dental trauma cases will turn up to you, especially when they have a wedding. That time they will suddenly come and tell you that, you know, I have this tooth which is discolored. So whenever you have a discolored tooth, you should always ask them whether they have any history of dental trauma. And many times it is after 7-8 years, it may become non-vital. 
and if you if you don't do vitality test during that time or even don't take an x-ray because that time in x-ray you may even be surprised to see a large cyst which is very commonly associated with dental trauma cases so whenever you have a non-vital discolored tooth always take a radiograph of periapical area now in this situation patient has come to me in just one day in the x-ray i might see apical widening that doesn't mean that there is a periapical disease because of the non-vitality of the teeth even the vital tooth can have apical periodontitis because it is the trauma which is making it inflamed i have made a video about pulp and periapical disease where i have explained it you can find the link in the description and i request you you should watch that to understand it better so this is what is the treatment plan here no root canal treatment till 3 months unless patient comes within 10 days 15 days 20 days saying that i have a swelling i have severe pain in that case obviously the tooth has become non vital so till 3 month we follow it up so the treatment uh, is very simple you can do a composite restoration good amount of tooth structure enamel is there but the important thing to remember here is that the pulp is covered with a thin layer of dentin so i would not directly make a dental composite here i placed a thin liner of calcium hydroxide and then i did a composite restoration okay composite restoration in anterior teeth are challenging i wish all of you uh, go into magnification by a loop and do a better composite restoration if you want me to make a video about dental loops please tell me i will make videos about the dental loop i have two loops with me calzies and uh, sumax i can tell you the uh, you know uh, use of those loops and you should enter the magnification it is the need of the current world that every one of us should enter the magnification for at least caries excavation composite restoration think would appear the treatment would be better you will be more satisfied by doing restoration under magnification so here you did the composite restoration small liner and uh, i used a kulzer composite here I, i they are they are nice aesthetic there are various brands you can try any of it and uh, patient is happy but i want to follow up the uh, the patient for few months and see whether there is any uh, non vitality sometimes the tooth may appear absolutely normal there may be a small sinus opening so always make sure you retract the lip as much as possible and see whether there is any sinus opening so that you don't miss it and along with the proper uh, uh, investigation so at the end be uh, conservative be minimally invasive do not jump to root canal treatment unless it is actually indicated now please note that dental trauma is a very complicated subject do not use this video as a treatment protocol because there are multiple factors which you have to understand before doing the treatment if you have any questions please mention in the comment section and subscribe to this channel i will see you with such a few more case videos bye for now